Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews. What we're taking a look at is Iron Factory's IFEX20R, their Tyrant's Wings. This is the red version, Starscream. Comes with his coordination gear, a Megatron gun, as well as the first part, the torso section, to a clear ghost Starscream. So pretty cool there. I think each of the Star... Starscream, Skywarp, Thundercracker, they're each going to come with a piece. He's about three and three quarter inches tall. So great amount of accessories and I don't normally do this but I wanted to go ahead and actually take a look at the box. Reason being it's just well done. I like the clear section, I like the graphics on it and things like that. It's very professional. I'm not gonna lie, this is honestly one of the best third-party Transformer boxes I've ever seen, period. There you have it. So it's a pretty small figure, rather than the top down, bottom to top, I'm just go ahead and look at the whole thing, it's so small. But again, three and three quarter inches tall, give you a roundabout here. And the detailing on this is a lot nice. I really like what they're doing with the comic silence and things like that. And his face does have a bit of a smirk to it, which is cool. Maybe a little bit much to ask, but it would have been nice if it came with like an alternate head with a more stoic face. Now, posability wise, I think that this one's really killer. Arms well past 90 degrees there. Now the arm blasters, they can they have multiple purposes there. You can see the male peg there. Not very long. It's more for pegging under the wings, just an alternate look there. Good hip mobility there. Of course, hip swivel. About 90 degrees on the knee bend good ankle tilt too. Surprising because it doesn't look like it has that much when you look at the clearance space, but good amount. Overall a pretty poseable toy. And what's crazy about this one is it's one that kind of has it all together. It doesn't have like arm swivel but is missing this or it's one of those things that's like the epitome of everything that Iron Factory has been doing in terms of that articulation factor and things like that. It's good. Very good. Try to get him in some kind of pose here. One of those moments where I'm thinking about it. While I'm posing, what do I want to do? Do I want to do an Iron Man? Do I want to do a Neil and do a, you know, just kind of going with the flow. But decided to go with just a normal walking pose there. Got the Megatron gun as well. And that's a pretty cool tie in as well. I dig it. And Megatron, the extra pieces, the barrel extension, stock, sight, those kinds of things, they all do come off. So that's pretty cool. Hopefully that's a hint at uh, not Megatron coming from them. I'd like to see their take on them in Legend scale. Especially if it's the take Megatron too, since they do so much comic stuff. Now looking at his coordination gear here, what I was really surprised with was that the cape is actually poseable and stuff like that. I mean, you can swing it up, swing it down, each of the two sides moves. It, like, wow. Now it does make it back heavy. It's a pretty solid piece, that plastic there on the cape itself. Now the way these shoulder pads go in. There is a male end on his shoulders themselves and they're a bit flexible. 
So you peg that in first and then bring the other side around. It does flex. It doesn't seem like it because it's pretty thick, but I've done it a couple of times now. No breakage, no stress marks or anything like that. So I don't feel like there's a need to worry. Ask me in a month, might be different, but right now, so far so good. Get that other side in. Now these can go on, of course, without the arm blasters coming off. So that's pretty neat. And one thing I'm glad about is that they, instead of having a crown that kind of holds on with friction, they just gave them a different head. Which works for me because the crown doesn't fall off or anything like that. No worries. There is all geared up. And on the back of that cape, you see that female peg area. The stand comes with an adapter, so if you want to put him into a flight pose or just use it for balance and things like that, you can go ahead and peg the stand into it as well. And the stand is that piece that's holding up the clear star screen parts that you saw at the beginning. Apologies for being a bit out of focus here. Hard to look at the camera and the figure at the same time while you're posing and stuff like that. And I don't know what it is. The focus seems especially tight this video, maybe because I'm zoomed in so far with this being a smaller figure. Normally I get a little bit more depth than I got for this one. There he is in all of his glory. Pretty cool. A very impressive pack and I like these accessories quite a bit. Comes with a lot of stuff. Alright, and again he comes with the first section of the Ghost Star Scream. The other two will come with the other two, I guess, I don't know if they're called clones or what, but the other two Seekers. So I'm going to guess they'd be like maybe IFEX 2O blue and purple, like B and P or something like that. But yeah, looking forward to it. I mean, it kind of looks good displayed like that. I haven't put it together.
Alright, here's his jet mode. And I dig it. Now, I don't know why it's so shaky. I don't know if it's the turnstile or what, but every time I rotate it, the table's not moving or anything like that. It's just a bit wobbly there. Maybe it's because the stand's so light. I'm not sure. But getting that removed. You can see the stand adapter, which is also one of the pack ends there. It just goes all over his crotch plate like so. He does have wheels, they are non-turning, shouldn't be expected for something this small. But it can at least go ahead and set balance on a flat surface, with those extended out. Those fins right. And I dig it, it's a clean clean look for a more Cybertronian that, or jet style. I dig it. And again, this has been Iron Factory's IFEX20R Tyrant's Wings. Check out the full review and pictorial on kumasao.com. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. Subscribe. See you next review.